All right, folks, welcome to today's show. We're in the back country. It doesn't get any rougher than this. This is some of the roughest country in the lower 48. We're hunting trophy mule deer and elk back here on public land, do it yourself. Howdy folks, I'm Guy Eastman, publisher of Eastman's Hunting and Eastman's Bow Hunting Journals. So let's start out by going to the high country of western Wyoming where I grew up and my father outfitted 20 years ago into the 10,000 foot peaks in search of trophy mule deer on a backpack hunt. It's going to be a lot of fun and a great adventure. So let's head to the back country. They got a big snowstorm. We waited it out. It's going to be knee deep snow back there, but those bucks should be up and moving as the weather's cleared and we're going to get our packs on and head back 13 miles into the wilderness after trophy mule deer on a backpack hunt. The real backcountry, we're in western Wyoming in the wilderness. It doesn't get any rougher than this. This is some of the roughest country in the lower 48. General license for a resident like I am. And uh, we got hit by a heavy snowstorm here in the middle of September on opening week. But we just waited out the storm and uh, waited for an opening. As you can see, we got beautiful weather. Storms broke. It's going to be nice for six, six to eight days here. So uh, come along with us. Let's go in the backcountry in eight inches of snow, backpacking after big bucks. You won't see anything like this anywhere else. Come on, folks. You know, these high mountain bucks, they'll spend their summer way above here, clear at the tops of these peaks, way up at 10, 11,000 feet. But uh, once you get a snowstorm like this that accumulates a pretty good amount of snow, we've got eight inches down here, and uh, up top they probably have 20 inches, those bucks will move off those peaks and down in these slides and pockets. So uh, we're going to glass this real good. There's been a lot of buck tracks in here. But I think this is where they were when the storm came. They fed, and they're starting to move their way back up. So we're just kind of, kind of glass, move, glass, move, real slow. Take our time all the way up through this country and get up to the top. Glass those big basins and stuff and kind of just follow the bucks back up. They're a little tough to spot in here, but we're going to glass this real good before we move on through and glass each one of these slides as we move our way up the mountain. You know, when you're hunting in this back country, you gotta really pay attention to your water supply. As you can see, it snowed this year, so uh, we had plenty of water, we melted snow or whatever we needed to do, but a lot of this high country is pretty dry, especially in September before they get storms. So uh, you wanna fill up on your way up through the creek bottom or make sure that you have a spring or seep nearby. Uh, one thing you wanna do is purify your water. Take it from my dad. He got Giardia up here in this same country 15, 20 years ago. Uh, it's here, so you want to purify your water or use iodine or chlorine tablets. You could do it either way. This is a little heavier, but the water tastes better. Well, here we are, folks, on the uh, second day of our hunt in the back country. We're setting up camp. We've hiked up about as far as we want to go. So we're going to get everything all set up so when prime time comes, we can glass do what we need to do, hunt till dark, then come back to camp and it's all set up and ready for us. So uh, we're gonna get all set up, let our stuff kind of dry out. It's pretty damp and frozen uh, from last night. As you can see it's ice on it, so we're gonna let it dry out and kind of eat some lunch and kick around here and get all set up. And then about three or four, we'll, 
work our way up into these basins here and glass all this country and see if we can't spot a buck up in uh, in the snow there so we'll see how it goes it's really dry up here so we we're pretty concerned about water and, uh, until the storm came and now we have plenty of water so we're just gonna melt some snow here make some more water we uh, use a lot of our water coming up you know making sure we didn't get dehydrated on the way up so we're just gonna melt some snow and refill our bladders and water bottles and make sure we have plenty of plenty of water to last the rest of the hunt He's down now. Whew. What a hunt in the high country. Oh man, that is a high country mule deer, folks. What a buck. We, uh, we're about 10 miles back here, and uh, we just did an evening hunt, popped up right here on this ridge, I glassed over there, and uh, saw this buck feeding. He's a pretty nice buck, about a 170. He's got a cheater on one side, about 26, 27 inch buck. Just a real nice buck. I tried to sneak up to this boulder here for a dead rest, but he spotted us, so I had to kind of make an offhand shot there on him. I'll tell you what, folks, that buck was 312 yards away. And there's no easy 300 yards in this country. We're uh, back in a big rock pile, high mountain basin in the wilderness of Wyoming. Look at this. I can honestly say I've never killed a buck in a more scenic place than this. This is gorgeous. What a nice buck. Man, that's awesome. It's pretty heavy, got that cheater. Probably in the mid 170s. Nice buck.
Look at that buck. Snow basin buck here, boy. Look at this guy. Well, folks, here we are on the uh, fourth day of a five day hunt here in the back country, and we finally were able to connect with this high mountain mule deer right here. He's about 27 inches wide with the cheater, almost 28 inches, just a really, really nice high mountain mule deer. And uh, I'm real happy with him, and we hunted hard. This is public land, do it yourself in the back country here in the Wyoming wilderness. So it doesn't get any better than this. We got about an eight mile pack out with this guy tomorrow. We'll load him up and, and pack on out of here and, and we'll be done. I'll be done hunting in Wyoming. Well, folks, there's three stages of hunting bucks in the high country. Finding a buck, killing a buck, and then getting a buck out. That's where we're at now. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, have some lunch here. We're gonna keep this buck out. Then we'll pack up camp and, and head down. We're gonna be loaded heavy. Good thing it's all downhill, eight miles out of here.